Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Mike McCarville. We're going to talk about a brand new kit that just hit the market and we are um, pretty excited that this kit's done. <laughs> this was by far the most complicated kit that we've put together so far and uh, I'm excited to do a bunch more of these. So anyway, let's get to it. Photo, black and white photo up there. That is the Cumbrus Pass Section House. Crews um, would hang out in there and sleep eat uh there's a little office in the front i believe two doors on the front door on the back uh, it's got a coal bin on the back uh board by board construction we're going to talk about all that um as we go through each of the photos you'll get to see the coal bin getting assembled that was by far my favorite part of this kit so this is a kit's ho scale uh we're talking about doing this in s scale um i'm not sure about anything beyond that uh again it depends on you guys if you buy it. If uh, we only sell a couple HO ones, then that's probably gonna be it. Um, uh, 3D printed parts. Uh, it's got 3D printed, we're gonna cheat. Usually I'll save this for the end, but we're gonna look at this now. Um, 3D printed posts on the front, full posts here, half posts against the walls. Uh, 3D printed, um, uh, 3D cut shingles, 3D cut uh, in, interior MDF core. Uh, doors, windows, everything. Um, on the back is board by board construction. So this gets to be a lot more like an older kit. It's got the, uh, um, the uh, vertical supports here. There's planks that run this way. There's a footer board you put in. There's a couple of pieces of scribed uh, decorative stuff on the top. Um, that was a lot of fun. The coolest part about this kit is the roof is just massive and yeah it does take a while to shingle so <laughs> be prepared for that uh, if you guys know me you know that I'm not a big fan of shingling but um the roof is designed to come off in a single piece there's the chimneys you can actually reverse these and get plain tops if you don't want the, the fancy decorative tops and then just put them in there um but it's also built so that the roof is removable and you can uh, do up the interior if you want to. We provided kind of visual breaks in the uh, interior walls. It was based on a cumbersome Toltec uh, floor plan that I found online. So assuming that's right, this is right. <laughs> so, but uh, the external plans are all thanks to uh, Mike Blazek that he still sells on his website. So um, we put this together as a uh, kit that you can add lighting, interior details, do whatever you want to. Um, but if you decide not to, um, or maybe just want to put a light or two, uh, you can uh, have these uh, interior sections all uh, divided up for you. Um, putting the roof on is pretty simple. Uh, it just nests right in there. Um, I always kind of start it at the front and then kind of sandwich it down. And I mean, that's really all it takes to put the roof on. It's, it's pretty tight. Um, I will tell you that uh, making sure the roof comes together as one piece, it's, it starts out as four pieces. There's four pieces here, but as long as you file this roof here to a, a really good knife edge, and you can lay that uh, MDF piece down flush on top of it, you get a nice clean valley of the roof. It looks awesome. And uh, it's really not that difficult to shingle. Once you figure out exactly what angle you wanna cut, you just keep cutting that angle and get everything in there uh, meshed. Um, you can add uh, um, uh, flashing around the chimneys or, or down the center or whatever. You can paint the, uh, the top strips a solid color if you want. The currently on the building, uh, it's got a lot of flashing on it. Um, and some of the older pictures, uh, it's basically a lot of wood shingles. So again, you can kind of go crazy with it. Um, that's it for the kit. We're going to go through the build real quick, and I'm going to show you every single step. Now, these are basically the same steps that are, that are in the instructions, so there won't be any surprises when you get it. Um, but uh, the photos that you're going to see are a lot better resolution, so you can see dust particles and stuff <laughs> that you probably won't ever see in the instructions. Um, the only thing this doesn't show is uh, the decals. I'll, I'll give you an example of the decals. And uh, it, there's basically a uh, cumbress. Um, elevation or uh, elevation in miles to Denver and uh, Chama on the on the the sign and it looks to me like the sign actually came from the depot that was uh, sitting at Cumbers which is no longer standing and then um, there's a there's an old uh, Denver and Rio Grande 
uh, logo that sat faded on the front in between the two front windows. Um, that one uh, isn't on the kit either, only because the decals are getting delivered today. <laughs> they don't have them. So um, I will feature uh, photos of that um, as I get them. But at this point, uh, this is what it would look like if you didn't put the depot sign on it and the, uh, the logo was faded away like it looks today because it doesn't have it today. So anyway, it's up on the website. I'll put the website details down below. Um, I will, uh, let's go through the kit. We'll do some, uh, outside photos at the end and that should do it. So look down below for any details as far as website, uh, Facebook groups, you know, blah, 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 all that stuff. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the build.